Hello and welcome to part 4 of the Interstate 75 in Florida. We are still continuing north on I-75. Because I-75 is also known as State Road 93. Which that also includes State Road 93A. Which that'll be in, that'll be after passing I-275. You can tell we just passed exit 111 on Mockley Road. Which is the current mile marker where we left off since at the end of part 3. Now we're going to be in the fourth part. So this thing is acting crazy. We just now entered We just now entered the city of Bonita Springs and we now left Collier County and we are now entering Lee County. Lee County is one of the best populations to We're now passing Bonita Beach Road. Bonita Beach Road Southeast is the next exit we're passing, which is exit 116. Yeah, this is acting crazy. I don't know why this was so crazy. Even though Lee County is, which is the current county that I was in, because I'm the only current county I was in, and this is, and Lee County is the most popular county, is a very, very, very large county. By either, either Benita, Astero, Fort Myers, Lehigh, North Fort Myers, and then Cape Coral. So this thing is, is still acting weird. And this. This glitch thing is acting weird.
We'll see. I'll be going from exit 111 to 141. Which is all the way in Fort Myers. That's going to take us all the way to Fort Myers. You can tell by this weird cloud. It's Wednesday morning. It's about 11.39. It's 11.39 a.m. It's about 11.39 a.m. Well, this is... You can tell the... By the city population between Bonita, Estero, and Fort Myers, the both difference between Fort Myers, North Fort Myers, and then Cape Coral, which I will check up the the status of the Cape Coral population. Check the population stats for the city of Cape Coral and then North Fort Myers, because Fort Myers looks. Very identical. It has a popular four miles has a population between sixty four thousand in the early twenty tens, and then, and now two thousand eighteen, the population has increased by eighteen thousand, and it went all the way up to eighty two thousand. It's now eighty two thousand. We have now entered the city of Estero. We just entered the city of Estero. Estero has the... Has some type of arenas like Germain Arena. Some other types like Germain Arena or something. Yeah, like they used to have Jermaine Arena, but unfortunately, I think it's getting taken out because I the believe they took out Jermaine Arena is because uh, Jermaine Arena was no longer in business anymore. Unless it moved. We just passed Corkscrew Road, exit 123, which that is exit 123. Exit 123 is the name of, name of the exit, and it is now Corkscrew Road that we are, we just passed. Oh god, this is this has gotta be laggy. Or probably not. We have now entered the city of Fort Myers. Well, the city of Fort Myers has its own population growth, has its own population growth and of of sixty four thousand populations in in the early twenty tens. Where I meant the the twenty tens. And in 2018, the population growth has increased now up to 80, over 82,000.
Alright. Okay, our first exit in Fort Myers is exit 128. Corkscrew Row. After passing Aliko Road, which will be the direct access to the airport, which now has a direct access to the airport after passing Aliko, there's another exit you could take that could lead you that leads you straight to the airport. Is the airport exit? There's only two exits that takes you to Cape Coral between, that's going to be in between Daniels and Colonial. Okay, the next exit. Uh, I don't know what the mile marker we just passed. I believe the mile marker just read 130. We have like 130 miles. So I've been on 75 for about 129 miles. So we're passing Daniels Parkway. Daniels Parkway exit. Exit 131. We are passing exit 131, Daniels Parkway. <clears throat> we only got four more exits left in Fort Myers. Before we enter North Fort Myers. This one may be a little bit short for that one. So we're at 15 minutes into this thing. So we already passed Daniel's Parkway. Which is... Exit 131. 
Now we got to pass exit 136, 138, 139, and 141. And 141 is, is where my home exit is. Oh wow, this angle is... Oh, this angle is getting ugly today. Well, not anymore. What is this? Oh, oh, great. What was that about? What was that about? Okay, but anyways, I don't know what was that about. <laughs> Anyways, we're passing Colonial Boulevard exit 136. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Anyways, we're just passing exit 136. Okay, we're getting closer to the exit right now. Here it is. Okay, here it is. Colonial Boulevard. We're passing Colonial Boulevard. Exit number 136. See, exit We are heading northbound on Interstate 75 in Florida. Next exit, number 138, Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. That's going to take you west to Fort Myers or eastbound all the way to Immokalee. We are passing exit 138.
Okay, we just passed exit 138, State Road 82. Okay, two more exits left. And we got the next exit upcoming, which is exit 139. And that road name is Luckett Road. Luckett Road, which is exit 139. The last and final exit in Fort Myers will be Palm Beach Boulevard. Okay, this is 139. We're passing. Okay, last and final exit is my home exit, exit number 141, exit 141, my home exit, 141, exit 141, Palm Beach Boulevard, aka State Road 80, you take east, it will take you all the way toward La Belle. Or west, or take down west, it'll take you to the Fort Myers Harbor side. Although I'm not gonna get off at this exit, we're gonna, we're gonna continue going straight. We gotta continue going straight on 75 North. Go over one last bridge and and this will end the tour. Wait for that merging to come. And this will end the tour. And see you all for part number five for the I-75 bridge.